actually, the graph you see on the screen now is a lift versus pitch. The solid green line is our results, the blue dashed line is the 2018 results, and the red dotted line is the theoretic gold line best fit. The bottom side of the curves is a test at 1,000 RPM, the middle side of the curves is the test at 1,500 RPM, and the top side of the curves is the test at 2,100 RPM. Our maximum experimental value is 5.15 pounds at 23 degrees pitch, weighing at 2,100 RPM. Theoretical maximum value is supposed to be five pounds. Comparing this to the experimental maximum value, which the 2018 team got was 4.20 pounds. We expected this higher number due to the lack of vibrations in our new system. This next graph represents a 3D printed blades versus the standard blades. The blue solid line is the NACA0015 blades. The dashed blue line is the theoretical line of best fit for those blades. The solid green line, once again, is the experimental data from the standard blades, and the red dotted line is the theoretical line of best fit. You see that our original maximum was still 5.15 pounds at 23 degrees, while our new NACA0015 maximum was 6.53 pounds at 20 degrees pitch. We estimate, we understand that this is the reason because of the different airflow. Although we are happy with our results, we did come up with ma uh, major challenges along the way. First one was the vibrations, which we uh, mitigated using the new nine platform. The next one was the instrumentation. It was not recovered well from the 2017 team. This made it very strenuous on the, our electrical engineering student. The next one was the ESC, which stands for Electronic Speed Controller. This would often overheat and uh, overload and would actually manually stop the test, which means that the trial was redundant. The last problem that we faced was the 3D printing of the blades. Upon receiving the blades, we realized that all the air coils were identical, so we're going to do one trial with NACA 0015. I'm going to hand it over to Matt to summarize 